Hello and welcome everybody. You're probably wondering why do I got cardboard all over my desk? Well, I've got a do-it-yourself laser, diode laser that I built and I have dogs and I want to make sure their, their eyes are protected. So let me take it down and I'll show you what I've done here. Pretty amazing actually. Well, I've got a screw in right there. I need to remove the screw. I'll just leave it for now. But anyway, here's what I got going on. About six months ago or so, Comgro sent me out one of their, their small diode lasers that they sell on Amazon. I think they're like $35, $36 right now to put on my Ender 3. But no matter what I did with what software, I couldn't get it to work properly. I, I, I own Lightburn. I tried a few programs they recommended. I tried everything I could think of and I couldn't get it to work properly. Now I have TH3D's modified firmware on the Ender 3 that I was using. Don't know if that was an issue or what, but I couldn't get it to work. And since I have a CO2 laser, and I've been wanting to test a diode laser, but I haven't been able to receive any from any companies, and I can't afford to go out and buy one, they're, you know, too expensive for me right now, I figured, you know what, I'll make one. Well, guess what? I did. It's simple. Uh, DB3D Dan had mentioned to me uh, one that he had made, and he gave me a link over on Thingiverse. There's many of them on there. I went ahead and I checked out his link. I printed out all the white parts in PETG from Ziltec. They sent me that big giant Texas size spool, 5 kilogram. So I, mean, I printed all the parts out in PETG with like 35 or 40 percent infill. I had three stepper motors laying around since I'm into 3D printing. My stepper motors are no problem. I have them sit, sitting around. I had some polycarb wheels. I got plenty of brand new wheels laying around, so I put polycarbonate wheels on it. I already had the belts and the screws, and the only thing I actually had to buy was this little control board that Dan referred me to that he had bought in the power supply. This little board was, I think, around $13. I'll show you a picture here on the screen, and I'll have a link below in the description to all the parts here. And then I had to buy a power adapter, and that was another $9 or $10. The extrusion from Ziltec, it's all 500 millimeter, and as you can see, I got inside corners on there, inside the uh, extrusion, I got, I got them doubled up in each corner. And total for all that extrusion was like $32 or $33 from Ziltec in Texas. They sell tons of extrusion, pre-cut to different lengths. I mean, that they specialize in extrusion. You know, they're the go-to place for extrusion. And since I already had light burn, I've got it all wired up. I had a couple, I had to put a couple of cable extensions on this and I had to solder one of my connections to make it long enough to reach over here to the board. And then I got it plugged into my computer, it's tethered to my computer. Got it running in light burn, works great. Um, my first thing I tried to burn, the image was upside down and I spoke to a friend of mine, Astro Printer, and he had mentioned about, I'd have to reverse my uh, Y cables. Well, I found out in software, we can go into software. It took a while to find it in light burn, but I was able to click a little switch and it flipped it, so then it was burning the proper direction. I still have to focus the laser better, and I'll have to see how well this laser works over time, or if I end up upgrading it. But yeah, it cost me very almost no money to build this. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put it at. Probably in with my CO2 laser. I'll put it with my K40. I'll probably build a shelf above it, above it and let it set right there. But yeah, it works great. I got a little bit of video footage here I can show you of it running. But the parts were next to nothing. This particular diode laser is like $35, $36 on Amazon. You know, the three steppers, if you don't have them laying around, they're not that expensive on Amazon. Um, my wiring is, is uh, ran down here in a channel. Now, one thing I, didn't, I did, didn't like about this design on Amazon, it only had two rails. And I wanted it to be a square frame to be more rigid, so I ordered two more pieces of extrusion and squared it up. So, you know, well, it's more rigid. It's not exactly square, but anyway... It's solid, you get my point. But yeah, it works great so far. I have a lot more testing to do with it. Let me show you some of the things I've done here. Well, first off, I engraved the little JK, and it wasn't that dark, and I did that. And then I went ahead and I set my uh, power at 80% on that little laser, speed at 300%. And then I did the second one you see there. And a good thing to do when you do tests is go ahead and put the text of what you did on it so you remember for future reference. And then I was going to do a fill there, and I was burning way too dark. So I came over here and I'm still tinkering around here and let's see, I'm at 2500 speed, 80% power. You can see it, but it's really, really faint. So I have some more work to do. I believe Jim from Edutech done a video on setting up his uh, Otur and getting all the power settings dialed in. So I'll go check out his video and, uh, and I'll get it all dialed in. But, you know, I'm really happy I and mean, it's great. Now, of course, this cutout was done on my CO2. That wasn't done on this one. I'm just tinkering around here with a piece of wood that I got. 
I bought this like a half a sheet or so down at Lowe's a while back, and then I cut it down on my saw. Then I have smaller pieces to work with to make the project and stuff. But yeah, that looks great. I'm really happy with it. Um, this is a real short video today. Like I say, I need to adjust the laser, but I just want to kind of show you guys what you can do if you don't want to, don't have the money to spend three to five hundred dollars on a big fancy diode laser. You can do it yourself. I mean, very simple to do. It wasn't hard at all, and you might have a lot of the parts already laying around. But let me just kind of give you a run around here, and I'll let you see some of the parts, and then I'll show you some pictures.